morning yogis, Joel Stipos here. Today I'd like to break down a transition we use very often in our vinyasa flows, which is from three-legged dog stepping forward into a low lunge. When you start uh, this transition, you probably think that your mat is super, super long and you're never ever going to get your foot all the way to the top of the mat, but with practice, it will come and I've got some, some little suggestions that might help you. So let's have a look at it. So from downward facing dog, let's say we are stepping our right leg forward. So the right leg is up. And then when you step forward, you probably feel like, hey, my foot really doesn't get very far. An option in the beginning, just to be able to, to you know, continue your flow, the, the easiest is to just hold on to the foot step it forward rather than going because <laughs> it's going to take you a long time and you know it's just nice with the vinyasa to be able to stay in that one breath one movement kind of um, kind of flow so a little tip here an exercise would be to pretend there is something or you can even put something on your mat and try to step over it because it's all about having that height that distance away from the mat so, in order to create that height, let's focus on our left foot here. So, you lift your left heel and notice that as soon as I lift my left heel, my hips lift a little bit higher and away from the floor. You can obviously make your stance a little shorter, that is also going to make it easier. Right toes are very active, left heel lifts, and this creates height, probably around 10 centimeters. Now try to maintain that height, now your core strength comes in. So you bring the knee really close to the chest, the heel is really close to your buttock, you're floating, you're pressing the floor away, really rounding the spine. You might notice here that my left foot is still very active, I'm on the big toe of my left foot. My sole of my left foot is totally stretched, left leg is strong, right knee is in, and then whew, you can step that foot forward. The weight back is also important. So rather than just dragging the feet backwards, can you again engage your left leg, press into the foot, hover, 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 downward facing dog. Give that a try and you can make it a drill. Do three times on the right side. Maybe stretch your shoulders a little. Do three times on the left side. I hope that, um, yeah, that helped you and that you will be able to step forward to the top of your mat more smoothly and maybe even one day while maintaining your hands flat to your mat. Thanks for listening. Good luck. Namaste.